And uh, we have with us Bob Keller from uh, Keller Therapeutics and a Myokin uh, pain relief practitioner. And uh, Bob, good morning to you. Good morning to you, and it's nice to be back. Nice to have you here. Uh, you, uh, you know, when the last time you were here, it was just fascinating how you were uh, describing uh, the, the process that you do, this Myokin pain relief. Myokin. Myokin, <laughs> that's it. Okay. Well, that's why you, we have you here. <laughs> because you, uh, you certainly know what you're doing. You've been doing it for many, many years. And uh, it's just fantastic. And in fact, uh, you have brought with uh, with you a very special guest today, and uh, and perhaps uh, you can introduce him. Sure. This is Michael Sales, who uh, bills himself as a strategist. And let me give you just a couple of seconds to talk about what you do, Michael. Thanks, Bob. Uh, Art of the Future. Art of the Future is a firm that I co-founded with my partner, uh, Annika Savage. It's a uh, strategy firm uh, that integrates. Uh, systems thinking and scenario planning uh, in the service of forward-thinking uh, leadership and uh, we have a particular focus on the uh, design of life-sustaining organizations. And I can say that Michael has made a couple of good suggestions for me in uh, building my business. Really? Okay. Well, that's that's neat. So, uh, you, you've got a website, Michael? Sure do. It's uh, uh, artofthefuture.com. It's artofthefuture.com. All right. Michael came to me uh, last December, December 2009, um, saying that he had a condition that had been diagnosed as Morton's neuroma, uh, which, uh, whose symptoms I'll let him describe to you in a few minutes. I just wanted to give you an idea of what this is. Uh, it's one of many um, conditions in the foot, uh, which can be very painful. Uh, Morton's neuroma uh, is a swelling of the nerve between the third and fourth uh, toes on the foot makes it difficult to walk and so on and so forth. Um, Michael had tried a number of different therapies and finally came to uh, Myokin, uh, presumably as a last resort, <laughs> uh, which is where I often find myself. Really, uh, as a last resort, but that, that's, that shouldn't be the case, should it? No. No, not at all. And you've helped many people, and Michael, why don't you describe uh, your experience? Sure. Um, I. Uh, had this evolving problem in my right foot. Uh, it must have uh, been built up over the course of five, seven years, and it happened very slowly. And I didn't really, didn't really know what to make of it. Uh, but in uh, July, I would say July of 2009, it just blossomed into a terrible situation for me. I could hardly walk, and I'm a, I'm a, uh, a real fan of walking. I probably walk 25 miles. Uh, a week, and, uh, and it's a, a very significant component of my uh, exercise regime, and so I was devastated uh, uh, because I basically couldn't walk from room to room without uh, really excruciating pain, and I had tried um, uh, what's the uh, cortisone shots, mm -hmm. uh, and I tried pads in the foot, and I'd spent a heck of a lot of money on uh, orthopedics and all sorts of different shoes, um, and I was just, just getting nowhere. This condition was just continuing to get worse. Um, and I uh, finally got a diagnosis after many years uh, from a podiatrist uh, who said, well, you've got Morton's neuroma. And I did a web search on Morton's neuroma, and thank uh, goodness that uh, Bob's name uh, under uh, myokin training popped up here in Newburyport and uh, started seeing you when was it, like October or It was so? December. December, yeah. And um, uh, I held out as l for as long as I could without spending <laughs> the money. <laughs> but, um, but it turned out to be probably one of the best investments I ever made. Why don't you uh, describe the, the, the type of treatment? Uh, how did uh, Bob take care of it? Sure. Uh, well, I, we've had uh, probably a total of um, 15, 30-minute sessions. Uh, <coughs> and Bob... Um, Manipulates uh, the manipulates my leg and foot in a way which I guess is uh, retraining uh, the nerves extending from uh, the base of my spine down into my foot, uh, and you know it's a bit of uh, of magic to me, uh, but it sure is working. Myokin is uh, indeed a process of re-educating the nervous system. 
the body is naturally in a pain-free state. And what we try to do with myokin is just remind the body of that pain-free state so it can make whatever adjustments are needed to get rid of the pain. So, Michael, when did you uh, start to uh, feel better? That's a very good question. Um, <coughs> uh, Bob, I think, had given me an indication that I would be likely to feel better within about six treatments. And as of treatment number five, which was maybe uh, uh, three weeks into the process, I wasn't feeling any better at all. And uh, so I, I felt, okay, I'm going to give it one last uh, shot because the guy told me to do so. And uh, uh, got that sixth treatment, and I would say that that I saw an improvement. He promised improvement by six free treatments, and I, I got it. It was like everything should work that way. And <coughs> um, and and I had a very dramatic improvement. Uh, that would be probably uh, early February. Mm -hmm. <coughs> From early February to um, oh. Uh, uh, April or so, I had very, very dramatic improvement. And I still have this problem of, of uh, the Morton's neuroma. It's not something that goes away if you ever saw a picture of the thing. <laughs> You'd see it's a big red, uh, uh, you know, enlarged thing and it hurts. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm improved to the point now where I can really walk and get my exercise the way I want to. Mm -hmm. First, the first time I knew he was better was when he said he walked to his appointment. Oh, <laughs> so he let that slip, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's neat. Now, uh, now when you do this myokin, there's there's no drugs, no injections. No, it's uh, they're very uh, simple sessions, usually 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, I use no oils, no creams. The patient is fully clothed, um, and uh, as I said, it's just a matter of. of stimulating the muscles that are innervated by a particular nerve root. Um, and so uh, the first thing I do when I see a new patient is to try to identify the nerve root that's causing the pain. And then we go through the treatment of all the muscles that are innervated by that nerve root. So that's the trick. you got to find that nerve root. Absolutely. I would say that uh, in my business, one of the things that we uh, talk about in looking at leadership style <coughs> is people who manifest a craftsperson uh, orientation, people who really go at uh, whatever their activity is uh, with uh, the sensitivity of an artist and uh, kind of integrity. And that's the thing that I found about you, Bob, that Thank really, uh, that um, I'm, I'm glad I'm better, but I'm also being, being treated by uh, somebody that I trust and I have confidence in and who I can tell really uh, loves his work. Uh, it is not simply treating me as another um, you know, another piece of sauce to get, to get out the other end. <laughs> and, and now you have it under control. I do. I, I, uh, it, I, I still feel it sometimes, uh, but it's under control. It's not, a, it's not a dominating presence in my life. I'm very thankful for that. Now, uh, are, are, is this uh, typical? Uh, uh, it, is, it is fairly typical. Um, some people get up after the first treatment and they're completely healed. I never see them again. Uh, and that happens not infrequently. Uh, more commonly, three or four treatments to get it under control. Um, six is not unusual. Um, but what I've what I found is a couple of things. If people continue to do the things that cause the problem in the first place, then it's going to keep coming back. And so more and more of my patients come back for what I like to call maintenance treatments. Maybe once every two weeks, once a month, who knows what it's going to be. And the other interesting thing that I've seen in several patients now is that once the nervous system has been trained in how to get rid of the pain, if the pain comes back and the patient stops doing whatever they were doing, the nervous system can take over and fix the pain itself. Fix the pain itself? Well, right. Okay. Well, that, you know, it's just fascinating. The more I hear about you, and each month as you come back, I learn more and more about the whole process. And it's just fascinating. It's, I love Michael's story there because, uh, you know, what you had is something that uh, just really devastated your lifestyle. You couldn't walk your the, the miles that you're used to walking now. Now you're back to uh, probably doing about the same thing, right? Pretty much, yeah. I, 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 uh, I returned to the lifestyle that I was familiar with uh, for many years. And, uh, and I'd just say that uh, pain is, physical pain is arguably uh, one of the only real uh, evils in the world. 
it's like all the other evils that you know have to do with like two people struggling about whatever it is they struggle about. You know, those are different points of view very frequently. But when you're in physical pain and you can't really operate, that's a really really bad thing. Uh, and to uh, be relieved from that uh, is worth every penny that I've put into the process. So you would uh, recommend the myokin uh, pain relief treatment for others? Well, absolutely, and I would say that. Uh, you know, it's it's part of uh, uh, what one's uh, uh, repertoire of possible treatment options ought to be. If you haven't heard of it, uh, it's worth looking into. I can't attest for uh, how other practitioners uh, are able to perform uh, this uh, uh, this treatment process, but I can be glad that uh, I ran into Keller. Are you uh, <laughs> are you uh, sad that you didn't try it earlier? <laughs> Um, no, not really, because uh, I think I had to exhaust uh, the conventional options uh, in, in a way that uh, comported with my own sense of uh, a treatment uh, plan before I was really open to the kind of um, sort of simple uh, approach, but effective approach that uh, Bob has. I'd, I'd, I'd like to add to what Michael said. If he said he tried all the conventional approaches. Myokin is not far out. It's a very straightforward Western medical model approach to re-educating the nervous system. And, uh, and you know, this could be for uh, for people who have problems with their feet, but also headaches. And, and remember last time you were talking about frozen shoulders and sinus elbows, and anything else. Carpal like tunnel, right? Oh, yeah. Low back pain. Yeah, you know, and uh, before you undergo the knife, you want to try this one, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, now uh, I can't remember how we did it the last time. Did you call your office? I call, call our office, which is 978-465-5111. All right. So that's, that's very easy to do. Just call his office at 978-465-5111, Bob Keller. And uh, Bob, I want to thank you so much. And, and Michael, thank you for coming by, too. It, you know, that's, that's fascinating just to, to hear the, uh, the story of the success on that. And, and you have all types of stories, don't you? I do, indeed. Yeah. I'll be glad to come back and tell them. All right. Now, uh, you also want to send people off to your website, too. We do. The website is myokin, M-Y-O-K-I-N East, myokineast.com. All right. And uh, we've been talking with Bob Keller at Carol, Keller Therapeutics at Newburyport. And there's uh, Water Street, 166 Water Street, very easy to get to. And Michael Sales, strategist. And uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Winfrey, and buddy.